There was a bee, Elaine repeated. I don't understand, Cass said. Elaine, keeping her face very stiff, explained that as Imelda's father was driving his daughter to the church, a bee had flown in the window of the car and got trapped in her veil. She started freaking out, Elaine said, but her dad thought she just didn't want to marry Dickie. When at last he realised what was happening, he'd pull over and try to get the veil off her, but it got caught in the seatbelt and he couldn't get it free. So he jumps out of the car and he runs around to the passenger side, Elaine said. But just as he finally untangles it, he hears this scream. It stung her, Cass said. Right on the eye, Elaine said, with a certain amount of relish. Imelda's father tried to find a pharmacy on the way to the church, but the best he could do was a little pub where he'd bought her a twister to hold against the swelling till they arrived. It didn't help. And Imelda had kept the veil over her face as she walked down the aisle, as she stood at the altar, as they exchanged their vows, even when Dickie went to kiss the bride. She didn't take it off right through the reception, Elaine said. And she wouldn't tell anybody what happened. Everybody just thought she'd lost the plot. Jesus, Cass said. Yeah, Elaine said. So that was why no pictures, Cass said. The sting was that bad. My dad said it looked like she had a pig bladder stuck to her face, Elaine told her. God, Cass said reflectively.